hi guys assalamu alaikum this is arif in this video i am going to show you how we can compile and run simulations of system verilog and vidl codes using quarters and in order to do that first i am going to show you how we can compile and run a system verilog code and then i am going to show you how we can do the same for a vhdl code so let's go to the computer start and open our software so we have to select this option but i am going to tell you that first if you are a starter try to run your compile and simulations using questa not quarters and if the code works there then you can use quarter software so remember this so let's open quarters So go to this new project wizard. Click next and try to open this location because first we are going to create a new folder where we can save the files of our project. So we can say system verilog project the name of our folder where we are going to save all the files of our project and then we can select this system verilog project remember this is the folder where i am saving it so prefer to save your projects at this location so select folder now i am going to give the name so the name should be the name of our top module in our verilog code right so I am going to use this code. So the top module's name is AND gate. So I am going to type this one. This is necessary for quarters, compile and simulations, but not for the questa. There the names can be different as well. So AND gate is the program which I am going to create and run so the top module's name is AND gate so click next next we don't need to add files since we are going to create new files so here we can click next as well so here we have to select the type of our program so I am going to select this system verilog HDL here next and finish so now we have to wait until it creates a project and we can create and edit new files so now we have to go here to here file and then we can say new and then we have to create a system verilog file this one press ok and actually we need two files for our program first for the design code and then for the second for the test bank so we can create another file and this would be also of type system very low one we are going to use for the test bank one we are going to use for our main design so let's copy paste this main design which is the design of our and gate using very low code so this is the very low code of our and gate save it go to file save it so and gate by default this name is coming so we can save with the same name so now and now let's go to the second file which we created and here we are going to actually type in our test bench code
so this is my test bench code its module name is test and here we are calling this same end gate which is the name of our main module in our design code file so let's save this So here we can actually name this file. We can save this file with the same name, like the name of our main module in our test bench file. So now both files are saved the design code file and the test bench file. So let's compile this design first. Actually, let's go there first, try to add this test bench to our design. So for that, we have to go to assignments setting. And here under the ETA tool settings, we can see the system very log is already selected. So we don't need to change it. Let's go to simulation and simulation. We are going to do using the test bench. So compile test bench here, select this one test benches, go here, go to here new and test bench name. So test bench name is test and also the top level module in the test bench is also test and this the file name here we can select so test file so now we can click add and this got added here in this list now we can press ok we can press ok here we can click apply here we can click ok here and now actually we can try to compile the design so let's double click here and try to compile our design so now we can see this green and blue messages there messages should not be read so now our compilation has successfully finished here we can see the message it is going to take some time before we are going to see all these green ticks here so now it's time to run the simulation go to tools run simulation tool rtl simulation select this one so now we are going to see right next to this our questa window has opened this is the way actually we call Questa from our quarter software, which is going to show our, which is going to show us the results of our simulation. So we can click here in order to expand this. So this is the waveform of our AND gate. 0, 0 output is 0, 0, 1 output is 0, 1, 0 output is 0, and at 1, 1 output is 1. So our AND gate code is working fine. And we can actually now close this window. So this is the way actually we can compile and run simulations of our system Verilog and VHDL code. So this is the way our system Verilog code is. Actually, this is an AND gate which has two inputs A and B and one is output C. And we are going to use then this AND function from the system Verilog and we are going to use this to AND the two inputs into the output. And this is our test bench in which we are defining our inputs as reg and output C as wire then we are calling this module on this line and then we are using this initial block and we are going to give random inputs to our code like a 0 b 0 a 0 b is 1 and these four combinations so this is the complete project of our AND gate using system Verilog and now I am going to show you how we can create a project using VHDL in quarters to so go to file and select actually we can 
first close this project select this close project and now we are going to see this window again and now we can create a new project by clicking here new project wizard click next try to create a new folder first at this location go out of this folder go inside this intel fpga lite folder click here new folder phtl project so in this folder we can save files of our new project so select this folder now again whatever is the name of our main entity in our code here we have to type that entity's name since that entity's name is and gate so we have to put and gate here let me show you in our code as well which i am going to use for our vhdl so this is the entity and gate here it is written this is the code actually i am going to use it so let's copy paste it for the time being so entity's name is and gate same and gate i am typing here remember this click next empty project we don't need to add any files since we are going to create new files so next here to and here we are going to select actually the VHDL option. So VHDL. Next and then finish. So now it is going to create a new project. Which is going to be our VHDL project. It is going to take a little time. So now it's ready and we can add new files go to file new and type of file should be design file should be phdl file okay create another file for test bench again the file should be of type vhdl click on vhdl file click ok so let's first paste the VIDL code of our design which is AND gate so this is the way we can make a VIDL program for AND gate and now let's try to save this so by default it is showing us save the file as AND gate so let's save it now let's copy paste our test bench code as well into the second file copy and go to the second file paste here our code and now let's go to file again and save it so we can use here the same name as the name of our main module in the test bench which is test so this is our main module in the test bench so this is actually the complete design code and gate which has two inputs one output and then we are going to place this function and inside this architecture and we are going to say the output is a and b and same way if we are going to have a look at the test bench we can see is we have defined here test bench entity name then we are going to say inside architecture we are going to use this component and gate which we can just do is we can just copy paste this this code we are going to copy and we are going to paste here as a component all we are going to do is we are going to change instead of entity here we are going to write the component 
and here also we are going to write the component otherwise that block is same and then we are going to call this main and gate entity here like this and we are going to use a process block after that and we are going to give the inputs to our program like this so 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 and then wait for 10 nanoseconds and then wait is going to come as well so that the simulations don't run forever so let's save here as well because i just changed one line so now let's again go to this assignments settings and in the simulation we are going to say compile test bench and test benches click on test benches go to new and here we can say test bench name is test the name of our main module inside test bench after that we are going to go to here and we can the test bench file name is this one click on this file and select this file press add so it is going to come into this list then click ok click ok click apply click ok now we can compile our design first double click here on compile design so it is going to take some time so after some time we have to check that compilation has completed and we have to check all the here ticks are green ones not any red ticks or any red messages messages should be always green or blue before we run simulation and now let's go to tools run simulation tool rtl simulation so it is going to take a little time before it is going to open our vesta from inside quartus and now it is opened so So let's see our waves let's try to make them a bit smaller so we can see now our wave uh, the input signals here are 0 0 output is 0 0 1 output is 0 1 0 output is 0 1 1 output is 1 so this is the way actually we can compile and run simulations of our VHDL codes. Let's close this Questa window. So, this is our complete code of our AND gate design, and this is our test bench. So, thank you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Have fun.